Good morning, Turning Point, and welcome to a new week. What a great weekend we had, Mission Sunday across all the campuses. And if you've missed out on any of the services, don't forget, jump on the website or straight to YouTube and you'll be able to watch them there. Being a special missions day, of course, we're taking up offerings for the CRC. And so we want to take up an offering. And in that offering, we wanted to make it something that's going to make an impact upon the missions works. So if you haven't already given, feel free to jump on there and do that. Now, don't forget, we're into the next week of The Mask. While it's not the movie, it's much better than that. And if you haven't got any, on the missions area, we've decided that some people are going to make these and raise some money for missions. And so if you want to know more about it, just give a call to the office. They'll be able to tell you how to place an order, how to organise to pick them up, because, of course, we're not supposed to be driving around. But make sure you can do that. Now, the other thing, remember with this lockdown, there is one thing you should be doing. They should, they're saying you should be out exercising. So do you know the best exercise you can do? Besides getting out there and getting on a bike or going for a run, how about just simply do this? Do a walk, but not just a physical walk, make it a spiritual walk. How about you start to pray for the houses that you walk past? If you've got a routine where you go a certain way each night, how about you change it? Pray for this street today and another street tomorrow. How about we rise up to the call? Because remember the words I've been saying and many of the things I've said, whatever it takes. Church, that's what we're going to do, whatever it takes, because when we pursue God, he will come and he will bring the answer to us. Enjoy the reading and the testimony today. Good morning. I will be reading this morning from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 19. Um, it says that if only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are to be pitied more than all men. And I'm going to read 20 as well. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. I love how these verses talk about the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. Um, it says that if Jesus Christ only provided hope for this life, then our faith in him is proved worthless. Like we should be pitied. Um, but Jesus gives us more than what this world has to offer. And I know even in recent weeks, actually possibly all of 2020, you probably felt that this, that our time and everything that we've possibly tried has been quite worthless but our hope is in Jesus that beyond this life he has redeemed us into relationship with the father and we can hold on to that hope and we can continue doing what is right and living in his righteousness because this life isn't futile um this life doesn't just come to nothing um this life is the beginning of our eternity with him so I hope this encourages you that Jesus Christ is the beginning of our eternity. And when you've received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, your hope is that our resurrection is in him, um, that we have so much more to look forward to than what this world can ever offer. I hope this encourages you. Have a great day today. Don't forget your masks and stay safe. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, my fellow servant of God. My name is Pastor Elise Mushumba. I'm the one of the Sierra C. Zambia Church. It is my great honor to be before you to speak about our church, Sierra Zambia. Before I go any favor, may I appreciate the missionary Reverend John Zembwe, of course, not forgetting the entire leadership of Sierra Church International for their great support they have given to Sierra Zambia. I want to thank my fellow servant here in Zambia for their commitment on the work of God. God bless you. The Sierra Zambia, we are almost eight people who congregate in different homes because of lockdown due due of COVID-19 uh, here the pandemic has affected a lot 
our activities of church, especially the gathering of Sundays. Uh, you know, we are the young church. We don't have uh, a building uh, where the activities of the church can be done. We had used the classes. Those classes had closed. That is why we are still using the home, so our the fellowship from the home to home. We have also the financial support because of uh, job. Most of member are jobless. They don't have uh, a job. You know, most of uh, companies are stopped working on our days. We have also another issue. We are going to the process of registration our church. We are on. We have already prepared the, uh, our constitution to present it to the uh, officials. Our request, first of all, we have a prayer request. We need your prayer support as a young church. We need also uh, to have a Bible college, you know, the education play an important role to pray at the ministers for the work and the being part of our vision as a church. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.